and welcome to the show. Today, I'm back on Beam, but I'm going to be looking at a, a little bit of single player stuff. Because um, I'm kind of curious. It's been a while since I've really messed about with any of the scenarios. And I spotted this one. It's a collection of of, of races. I, well, I rock uh, <laughs> races. There's a bunch of different ones. And I'm curious to see how the Beam... AI has has evolved. Uh, it's always interesting to try and see what they do. <laughs> you can get some really entertaining stuff. Uh, so you can change the various settings. You can you can start. So this this mod pack has got a selection of specifically made vehicles for the race. I think the races are sort of uh, designed in such a way to, to be interesting for the specific. But you can go and bring your own cars into this. I believe these scenarios work as well with the career mode. I'm going to do a video on that at some point in the future. Um, but for this, which is kind of Use the thing, use the car the game gives you, and um, see what might happen. So we've got this is sort of some street racing. So we've got nine opponents we're racing against, and we have got AI traffic around the place. Uh, now I haven't really delved into this much in Beam for a while because well my old PC wouldn't really have held together very well for this. Oh, there has been a murder. <laughs> I mean, there's no doubting that. Oh, is that? No, I think there might have just been dust being kicked up uh, from the cars ahead. There has been a horrific murder. That poor cover. Uh, is that dust or is there? Uh, there has been an accident for a. There's been a couple of accidents actually. They've kind of all tangled up with each other a little bit there. Oh, I say that. That is that is quite heavily dented and quite heavily damaged on that. Uh, uh, Burnside. There we go. Uh, car that I'm driving. Whoa! No! 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 Whoa. <laughs> That's so close to death. That was so nearly the end of my race. Right there. Oh, the Grand Marshals had a huge smash. Uh, the 200BX was. A little bit stuck in that. Uh, I've still not quite recovered from how close that was to me wiping my car into the uh, well into the concrete. Oh dear, that covert. Where is that going to end up? 200 BX has served it. Uh, so, I mean AI uh, in term in terms of speed. Actually, I'm not I'm not unimpressed. Uh, one of the things with the AIs is they were never the very they're, they're the fastest now. It's possible that to make this scenario more fun, uh, the AI cars have been given quite a lot of speed. Is that on fire out there? I am not stopping. I've got wheels on the grass. Hello, very fiery Piccolina. Oh, I think I think there may have been some accidents along. I very much missed the corner. Uh, it's me and the 200BX. Oh, it's me and the 200BX for first. So they, they, they do have some speed at times, the AI cars. Uh, the problem might be they're a little bit too brave. <laughs> what has gone on there? It, oh, good lord, that is the end of the burn side. We're just finding bits of... The 200BX is clearly faster than I am. Uh, it's just who makes the least mistakes. I know there's a Grand Marshal somewhere around here. Um, did it limp its way? No, nope, it did not limp its way there. Ah, there was a wrecked cover. Well, oh, that was the cover. That was actually one that was involved in the race. That's not even an AI traffic cover. Uh, oh... You're going to... I think you've got steering damage and you are... God, oh, it's fallen over. <laughs> Still go... Actually, you know what? I mean, we've got quite an easy time here. Um, I think I, mean, I think that 200BX is having difficulties because of the damage and it's just making it worse. That's still going. That is that is one resilient street racer. You might be the only other car running. I did run this... I will say, I ran this race as a test before uh, filming this. And it was not this chaotic. It was nothing like this. Um, that is the way it goes sometimes with Beam. You can sometimes get... Uh, you, you can get brilliant races, or you can get everything must get smashed to pieces events. I think this is about to go into the back of the covert. Yeah. Uh, although it survived the hit on the covert. The covert's gone round. Uh, well, 200BX, I appreciate your effort. That has gone into this. So the Piccolina is on fire and crashed. The I series is not on fire, but is parked up. Uh, I presume wrecked one way or another. There's Burnside wrapped itself around a lamppost up here. Uh, from the from here, it looks like a truck. Like from long distance, the way it's all crumpled 
actually sort of looks like the cat. In fact, I think it's peeled the body off of the chassis there with the burn side. There was a barstow around. I've not seen the remains of a barstow, so either it's had a really big accident somewhere, which is distinctly possible, uh, or you're still attempting to move. Yeah, either the barstow's had a very big accident somewhere, and unless you are it. No, that's the covert. Um, yeah, God knows where the barstow is. There's a truck has made it that far. <laughs> They've not had a good race this time around. Uh, it has been entertaining for me. We almost we almost took ourselves out on the first lap. Beam is as, as challenging as ever to go racing around. Um, but uh, yeah, we... I mean, I would say we won the race with only a lightly damaged bit. Really, really, the damage we did was minimal. Like, we we plucked the rear bumper off slightly, but that was about it. Um, but, yeah. Okay. That is the first. That is the first of the races. Uh, let's go and have a look at, uh, at another one. So... Okay. Oh, we're gonna go, we're gonna drive a Piccolina. Sure, why not? This can only go well. So, opinions, thoughts so far on this. The AI are getting there, but they're still a bit dopey, to put it politely. To put it simply, they are still a little bit on the on the dopey side. They can go quickly, but they do come a cropper more often than not, which is hilarious to watch. But I feel like in that first race, all I had to do was literally not crash. Um, all we had to do was just sit and drive around and not and not fall over. There wasn't really any of them that were fast enough to. They were fast enough to go ahead of us, but they were were not not able to hold on to it uh, particularly. Let's see what they can do around here. The Burnside has been served by the Barstow, <laughs> and the Burnside's in a ditch. Uh, I don't know whether that's actually going to be able to get out of there. Burnside looks quite low. Uh, hello, Sunbursts. Do not mind me. Uh, I am in a very Italian Piccolina here. Uh, we are going to do our best. Ooh, I don't really know this part of the West Coast map. I mean, the fun, one of the fun things with this is you do get to see bits of the map that you might not oh god drive about all that often. I put the throttle down. Way. Uh, I put the throttle down there and we got loads of understeer because the front just lit. I mean, we didn't wheelie initially. Uh, now, now things have gone wrong. I think my front suspension's broken. Yeah, the front end is definitely broken and tweaked. Can we... I say, can we work our way forward? I don't think we're going to have... I say, a huge amount of pace to do this. We're going to have to hope that the AIs... Well, of course, the race where I get light damage on my car is the race where the AIs are actually behaving themselves and racing fairly sensibly. I say that. And, uh-oh. Uh, okay, well, oil pan's damage. We don't have to survive crazy amount more time here. Uh, we will give it a go. The blue buck that I was driving last time has had an off. Oh, there is the burn side desperately trying to claw its way back onto the, <laughs> onto the road. Can we look at finding a way past the bar stow? Not if our car's going to do that. Christ. I mean, I know we are struggling now with a damaged Piccolina, but the others are gone. The others are just absolutely gone. Oh, out of sight. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to be catching up. By the looks of it, they have gone. Which I'm going to restart simply just to try a, try and get a little bit of a better race. So, the challenge with this is definitely don't damage your car. Uh, and don't damage your car at all. Because when the AI, when it works, uh, they are, I say when it works, oh god, are we all gonna, is everyone going to behave themselves and dodge the sunburst coming towards us? Oh, okay. We got away with that. There's a little bit of contact. A little bit of pain to work. Probably don't fight with second heaviest car here I feel like that would probably be quite accurate I, uh, I don't know I mean it's, it's a big old car but it doesn't have the technology of some of the modern cars that, that does also weigh a lot not that there's very many modern cars in this uh, sort of a race we're going to try and get around the outside of a 200BX can't quite do it uh, there is a lot of dust and stuff being kicked out there's a sunburst in the way I'm going to go for a little bit of a rally crossing down there I hope third gear works it kind of does we're behind the blue buck now. We're moving ourselves up to seventh. Still quite a long way from the front. Uh, could we go and have a crack at the inside? Oh, there has been an accident. I think they got traffic. There's a traffic car in the way there that did cause some grief for somebody. 
Uh, <laughs> not for us. We avoided it, although it did scupper our plans of passing the blue buck. Can't see. There's a lot of dust through here. Um, come on. Come on, Piccolina. What speed have you got? Have you got enough to pass? Not quite. Not quite down here. Not yet, anyway. Uh, we will have a big lift up here. I think that's where we more oh, we almost got spun. That's the corner we've really got some pace on around there. We can carry the momentum in the little the little Piccolino. Oh no. Ah no. We have been brutally murdered. A murder hath occurred. Uh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think we're drivable anymore. Uh, I just could not gather that back up in time. There was there was absolutely no chance of recovery on that one. Uh, <laughs> we got no chance in the race. It's gone. Wow, that's all it took. Christ. It's the smallest of bumps. Okay, we'll have one more go, go at this race. Um, and before we move on to a different one. Christ. So yeah, that, as I was saying with the Burnside, that was the other vehicle that was probably the heaviest one here. The D, I mean, it'll be stripped out, but the D-Series will be the heaviest. And yeah, I, I was trying to get it stopped, but you get a little tap from a car like that and you're going to have trouble. Oh, I do not want to try and go through the middle of that. Uh, oh, there's a big wobble from the Blue Buck. I think that was the Blue Buck trying to avoid crashing into the AI traffic, uh, possibly has had a huge wobble going on. Uh, we've broken our car, trying to avoid the crack. Okay, so, oh, D-Series is at a spin. Uh, so difficulty-wise, I'm actually pleased to see how capable the AIs are here in terms of race pace. They're still not... I mean, they're much better at this track than the first one in terms of avoiding uh, traffic and the like. But, uh, yeah, they're still not, not perfect. They're still not astounding when it comes to avoiding traffic or some of the obstacles. But... I feel like they're pretty damn. They feel like they're pretty damn good in this little kind of scenario, and the vehicle selection, the balancing for the vehicles. I feel like I have the pace to win this race, but oh, there's gonna be a little gap there. No, you. God damn it. Uh, well, probably don't have the pace now. I've got punctured tires and oil pans out and all of that. Uh, yeah, I, f I feel like this bigger leader is quick enough to win this race, but the difficulty and however the the AI vehicles are set up is in such a way that it makes it a good challenge. And that's, that's what I like. Some of the sort of racing stuff I've, I've done on here in the past, uh, for, for single player we're talking here, uh, hasn't always been the best balanced. And this I am actually fairly impressed with so far. Uh, now, can we do... I mean, I'm going to try and do this with a flat tyre. Oh, we're not completely flat. Oh, <laughs> oh that almost went disastrously wrong. Thankfully, the Sunburst was actually intelligent enough that it stopped in its turning across. It didn't actually turn fully across there and either wipe me out or wipe the blue buck out that's having a look. Oh, I think my engine's got... I thought my engine would last for three laps. Uh, I don't think it's going to. Uh, I really thought it was going to survive long enough, but uh, I think my engine's going to expire. Oh, never mind. I got a twitch. Never mind. And the engine was going anyway um, at that point. Oh, we just touched the dirt and around it went. Uh, that's a, it's a really good fun circuit. I'm sure I could. <laughs> I'm sure I could win that race eventually. We're going to move on to a different one, though. Good fun. We smashed up a Piccolina. Um, yeah, they put up a real, real fight there. Now, for this next race that I picked, I picked race number four because, and entirely because, who doesn't like a racing estate car? If you give me the option to do a race with a speedy estate car, I am going to take said option. Uh, this track might be a slightly longer one. We shall have to wait and see. So this circuit already, you know, considerably faster than the previous one. Uh, I do think maybe the slower the circuit, maybe the better the AIs will fare. And I think that may also be a little bit of a... Um, What's the word for it? If they make a mistake when they're going 30, it's easier to correct it. Especially in this game, even as a player. You make a mistake at 100 miles an hour, 140 miles an hour in this game, and it's difficult. But you make a little mistake at 30, you'll get away with it, you'll have more time. Or if you do spin, it won't be anywhere near as bad. Cover, out of the way. Uh, we are trying to open the door here. Uh, <laughs> eh, not the finest. Not my finest moment. The Covert's got some speed about it in a straight line. Crazy's gone. 
the, the, as much as I love the Legrand estate and everything, it does generally not have a great engine. Even when maxed out, they're not very good uh, from our experience of building cars. Uh, where on earth is this going? Oh, that's a corner. Right there. Uh, I mean, we might be able to make the most of this. We might be able to do this in such a way that we don't lose too much time. Why are you coming across there? I <laughs> wasn't trying to murder, but if you're going to come across on me like that, I am going to just put you around. I'm not going up on the curb. I'm not touching the curb because the curbs in this game are dangerous. The curbs are really dangerous. Uh, they will snap wheels, they will bend axles. I mean, that's a thing you don't normally have to worry about. And that is part of what makes racing fun on this game. Uh, is that things like just running across a curb can put you out of the race, which would be... It makes it a challenge. It might annoy some people, and I totally get it. Uh, this game is punishing at the end of the day, uh, but it's also kind of accurate, right? I've seen more than enough videos of cars clipping a curb and tearing a wheel off, so it would make sense if you're doing a spot of street racing. If you get it wrong, the penalties are very high, um, you know, on, on normal roads. Um, yeah. You can, you can very... Oh, I missed a, missed a shift. Uh, you can very much break... What's going on up there? What are they weaving about? But yeah, so it's there. there is always that added danger that just a simple curb could be enough to end your race in this. Don't know where I need to start breaking for this hairpin. Uh, there is a minivan kind of on the line that I would want. Uh, there is... Oh, Grand Marshal's kind of missed it a little bit. Uh, we're up to sick, but we're, we're not winning this race at the moment. Uh, we are... I mean, barring a big accident. Again, this is a pretty fast track, actually. And I, as I said, I will give the AI some credit. Uh, oh, that's the end of the covert, smoking heavily. Uh, they have, on the most part, been pretty reasonable. They, Outside of a mad first race for some reason, they have done... Oh, okay, I'll maybe take it back. The D-Series wanted to kill us. Uh... Oh, that's... Oh, it's broken something. Something's gone wrong. Something's gone wrong. What's gone wrong? Uh, the front wheel. I cr I'm crabbing. That's me not touching. In fact, you can see I'm not touching the steering because it's got the, the, the UI widget. Uh, my front wheel has gone all manners of floppy, really. We're in fifth. Can I see this home in fifth? Winning or a podium has gone out of the window. Now it's a question of can I get this home in fifth? That's actually a really weird damage we've got. I don't think I've had a car crab like this before. Not quite in this way. It's really... It's surprisingly tame and, like, controllable while crabbing. It's, that's, that is unusual. It's quite interesting. Uh, the, this is, that has come about. I'll try and get it slowed for the... Well, for the hairpin. Uh, might have to grab a hair... And break! No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh... Oh, I mean, have we always stalled it as well? We're not getting fifth. That's just uncalled for. You know what I say about curbs are mean? Oh, oh we, we've eaten our front, but I can't even node grab. I don't actually know it. Can I flip upright? Can I? <laughs> just, just help! 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 Please! I'm stuck! Things have gone wrong! Things have gone very wrong! There was a minivan! I, I need to get out. I need to get out and just pull the bumper out from underneath the car. Oh, dearie me. Uh, nothing like having a silly accident on the final corner. To be fair, I didn't mean to clip the curb. I also would never have expected the curb to flip us. And, yeah. I'm going to blame a D-series. Sure, we're going to go with that one. For the final little race that we are going to take a look at, uh, we are actually in the, in the middle of the city. I don't quite know how the cars are going to the are going to fare here. Very, very different circuit to the previous ones. Um, in terms of this, is there's a lot more things to hit. This is a, this is a real test for the AI. There's a lot of street furniture. Uh, that they could have accidents with, or they can have accidents with the civilian traffic. I think the little Piccolina may have been bullied there. Uh, it's a shorter lap uh, around here. We've got, so we've got four laps to try and survive. Uh, so far, oh, you can, or oh, you're going to have a spin if you're not careful. Good, 
relatively good save. They can bump into each other. I'm going to use the power of the burn side to make my way up a hill. Got the blind crests. A lot of these corners, you just sort of have to turn in, and it's a case of, well, I hope it's clear. Uh, oh, God. Do, oh, this is a narrow section. We're going down here. Uh, whoop. And out the other side, we make it relatively well, watching the curbs. As I said, we've seen the dangers that they, that they can... That they can hold as we wiggle the back end around the burn side uh, oh no don't go that way you will miss a checkpoint uh, easy to miss a checkpoint if you are not careful in this uh, okay i think i feel like maybe a couple places the checkpoints could be a little wider uh, to allow for a slightly more sensible racing line or maybe that was the idea though was to force you to be in an awkward place i was thinking more for the ais uh, than anything else Dagon has very loud opinions, apparently, on the matter. Don't know whether you'll have heard her meowing in the background there. Uh, we have... I've oh got that hit. That little bump on the curb has actually tweaked our steering. Uh, we are going to have a go at the inside of the I-Series. Uh, we kind of clatter it. We're still side by side with it, though, as we head into the narrow section. It's not quite got the grip to hold that on, on the outside there. Uh, we have oh, we've got into the back of the Grand Marshal when it has opened a bit of a door. Oh, they've returned in kind. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. We're going to lock the brakes a little bit coming downhill there. Oh. Okay, please tell me that didn't break anything important. I don't think so. Oh, we're going to be in a really awkward place for this next corner because I want to try and get a decent turning point. But uh, the Grand Marshal was in the way. Everyone else, I mean, there's a big battle going on there between a D-Series and a Covert. Uh, they are trading blows so to speak but we're going to have more traffic in a bit of an awkward place now the traffic's not that heavy around here at the end of the day having multiple cars spawned in in beam is uh difficult on pcs uh, <laughs> i've got i am i am, I say, i've got now a monstrous computer it is powerful enough to to do this sort of stuff um but this is very very taxing on a on a pc uh, so that's a horrible place for a traffic car and i don't know whether the barstow may well have got involved and crashed into that one um so yeah the traffic's never you know, it's not going to be like need for speed or burnout levels of traffic dodging uh certainly not at the moment on this game so yeah the, but you know it, the traffic is another consideration that i've never had to deal with in one of these before uh, oh come on one well, final lap can we chase down that 200 bx uh, it's definitely been in a ding. I think that was mostly with the Barstow, to be honest. Um, I am trying to not make any mistakes at the moment. Oh, there is traffic in awkward places. It scared the crap out of the uh, out of the 200BX. We've got a lot of power and hopefully a lot of torque. We might be able to get a good run up the hill, but it's, it's to the inside. Oh, we've put them around. Uh, go on, we'll straighten you up. I know I'm only racing against the AI, but I actually want to do this legit. Uh, <laughs> uh, can we... Oh... Can we make a pass stick through here? Uh, there is a Grand Marshal in a really awkward place. If it's going to happen, we might be able to get alongside here. It's around the outside. Now, that is a much more legit one for us. There is... Oh, the Barstow's gone. I'm going to get steering knackered on that. Oh, almost got... up. Oh, the 200BX made a mistake anyway. We will cross the line. We will take a victory. Oh, that's really good fun. That is really, really good fun. Oh, we were like two seconds away from the race timer. I don't know. Do we get? We got a little bit of damage, I guess, on the car. Nothing major. I mean, yeah. If you want to go and and get really involved with the, uh, uh, you know, with the challenges they've got, you know, you know, there's five stars to try and get. You can try and try and get all of them. Um, but yeah, honestly, I am. I'm actually quite impressed with that. I haven't played around with the AI for for a while on this game, and. They actually handled the first race was mad. They actually handled that one quite well. That's a that's a decent. It's a decent challenge. If you want a spot of, of racing with the AI, you can turn off the the traffic cars if you if you don't want them and that sort of stuff. But yeah, if you want a, a, a spot a, a nice a nice challenging little set of races to have a go. Beam is very good fun to uh, <laughs> to go racing with. And yeah, the AI put up a good fight. Certainly, you know they still do the occasional weird thing, the occasional dumb thing. But on the whole. I was more impressed with, with how competitive and how close those those races could be. And occasionally very funny, weird crashes. But, uh, 
yeah, there we go. I'll put a link to these these scenario the scenario pack uh, in the description of the video if you want to have a go with it uh, with it yourself. Uh, if you if your PC is struggling, you don't have to run with all nine cars either. You can turn down how many or all nine opponents, I should say. It's ten cars, including the one you're driving. Um, but yeah, if you do want it a little bit a little bit more simple, uh, that is also an option. Uh, but yeah, I'll stick a link to it in the description. You can have a go with it yourself. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.